folks, welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another chocolate review. Today's review being one we have absolutely zero expectations for. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Kelly and on this channel we eat chocolate, we bake and we talk about those things. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It would be lovely to see you again. Today, folks, we are talking about the three brand new Cadbury inventor invention creation bars, whatever they're called. Cadbury seem to run this promotion every kind of one to two years where they ask the British public, what do you want to see in a dairy milk bar? And typically three winners are selected, the bars are released, you vote for a winner, and then they just seem to drop off the face of the earth forever. <laughs> I spoke about these briefly on my podcast, Sweet Nothings, recently, and you guys were kind of sharing your opinions on what you thought these were going to be like, and today we are finally getting to taste them. So the flavors we have in our hands today are the Banoffee Nut Crumble, the No Frowny Brownie, and the Fizzing Cherry. And we're gonna be tasting these so that I can do my civic duty of telling you guys whether it's worth spending your money on this or not. Though I'll be honest, my hopes are low. <laughs> so I think we're going to start with the Cadbury Dairy Milk No Frowny Brownie because it is the most boring of the flavors. So the No Frowny Brownie is a milk chocolate with gooey chocolate brownie chunks, golden salted caramel chips, and crumbly biscuits. So one thing between all of these bars is that they all contain biscuit pieces for some reason. I'm not entirely sure of the thinking behind that, but I guess it just adds a cheap way of getting some crunch in there. Anyway, this is the No Franny Brownie Bar. Oh, something I always think when it comes to Cadbury, I know that they are a budget chocolate brand, but you could have done something. A little dark chocolate drizzle, a few brownie pieces visible on the top. All we have is the Cadbury branding and it looks like a basic bar of milk chocolate. On the back you can see that we do have some lumps and bumps. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and I can say you're getting a vague kind of Cadbury milk chocolate smell and maybe a little bit of caramel coming through. Nothing that would kind of scream brownie very obviously though. And when we break off some chunks, it's again, not really super obvious as to what is going on inside the bar. You can see a few kind of inclusions, but what are they? <laughs> Who knows? Let's taste the no frowny brownie and see if it's worth your money. We're off to a very bland start. There is nothing brownie related about that whatsoever. There's no texture to those gooey brownie chunks. I've just kind of had two. They taste and feel of nothing except soft. The Cadbury dairy milk chocolate around it does have the classic kind of dairy milk flavor, but again, as always, it's a bit too soft, it's a bit too chalky, it's a bit too crumbly and far too sweet these days. You get some crunch from the biscuits and you get the tiniest, tiniest little kind of background hint of caramel with nowhere near enough salt to call it salted caramel. It doesn't taste like this is a salted caramel bar. It doesn't taste like this is a chocolate brownie bar. There kind of isn't enough of anything going on in here for this to taste anything other than a milk chocolate with some biscuit pieces in it. It's not unpleasant. It's just kind of bland and it's giving, it's not giving what it thinks it's giving. <laughs> so on that basis, I'm gonna tell you guys that the Cadbury Dairy Milk No Frowny Brownie is definitely nothing higher than a two out of five. Shall we move on? So the second flavor we're going to be trying is the Banoffee Nut Crumble. So as much as I do like the packaging and the colors of this one, this contains milk chocolate with Banoffee Pie inspired fudge pieces, whatever the hell that means, golden almond caramel pieces and crunchy biscuits. So getting into the bar again, you can see there is absolutely nothing of interest going on in the front and on the back, we just have a few kind of dimples, ripples and pimples of whatever the hell is inside this. Breaking a chunk off, I can't even smell even like artificial banana. And the inside again is a little bit on the vague side. You can see that there is something in there. Again, it just looks like biscuit pieces and nothing much else. There is no fudge smell. There is no smell at all other than just the standard kind of dairy milk smell. Let's try the Banoffee Nut Crumble, whatever this is called. <laughs> okay, better than expected. So while the smell didn't really kind of give us any indication, there is a notable 
artificial banana flavor in there. If you like banana flavored sweets or banana milkshake, that's the banana flavor I'm talking about. Nothing like a banoffee pie, nothing like anything banoffee in general, but think um, McDonald's banana milkshake or a banana protein shake or something. That's along the lines of the banana flavor, which in those kind of three chunks that I tried is just enough. Any more than that, you're getting into nausea territory. <laughs> that being said, the banana is just about the only flavor you get here. The milk chocolate is there in the background, though again, it tastes of essentially chalky milk powder. And the texture aside from that, again, just feels like biscuits, just crunchy stuff, which is fine. If you like uh, milk chocolate with crunchy bits in it and a vague banana milkshake flavor in the back of your mouth, this is for you. <laughs> is it the best kind of inventor bar that Cadbury have ever put out? Absolutely not. There is no kind of indication of the almond flavor that they've apparently got in there. There's no kind of real toffee flavor. The overriding vibes are very poor quality milk chocolate, artificial banana flavoring, and some bits. <laughs> Again, while this at least is a bit more exciting in terms of the diversity of flavor than the first bar was, the Banoffee Nut Crumble, I can't recommend this, guys. It's another two out of five, to be honest. Moving swiftly on to our final inventor bar of this year, we are going to be tasting the Cadbury Dairy Milk Fizzing Cherry. Now this is probably the most kind of innovative of the three. This is a milk chocolate with soft chews of fruity cherry pieces, tingling, crackling, popping candy and crunchy biscuits. There's a lot going on. So again, we have a plain bar on the front and it looks identical to the other two on the back. It's just got some lumps. <laughs> Again, no definitive smell whatsoever. It just, it just smells entirely like a dairy milk bar. Hopefully we shall get something a bit more exciting, even if I do hate popping candy. <laughs> the inside of this one, again, just giving absolutely nothing away. No sort of pops of red, no real indicator as to what the flavor is gonna be. Oh, I stand corrected. We have a couple of little dark red jelly looking pieces there. Let's try the fizzing cherry and see if it's worth your money. This is definitely the strangest one and I don't mean that as a compliment. The popping candy is definitely present. It's currently assaulting my tonsils, but in terms of anything else, again, just so bland. There is a little gentle flavor of cherry sweets in the background, in the sense that it feels like you've had a Haribo fizzy cherry sweet and then like five chunks of dairy milk. That's the weird aftertaste I have right now. The cherry pieces are chewy, dense, kind of jelly sweet type things. It's not actual pieces of cherry or freeze dried cherry or anything like that. So it is quite a hyper sweet artificial cherry flavor, but you don't really taste it until afterwards. When you're actually chewing the chocolate, all you can taste again is that, you know, vague Cadbury, super sweet milk chocolate and nothing else. And of course the crunchy bits from the biscuits, which again, I don't know why they're here. <laughs> if you like popping candy and if you like a sweet fruity aftertaste, once your chocolate is gone, you may enjoy this. But if you're like a lover of chocolate and cherry together, which I am because they're a fantastic pair, this is kind of missing it again. This one is the most texturally diverse in that it has the chewy, the crunchy and the melty. And of course the popping candy, which is a little bit of something different, but it's not delivering a cherry chocolate bar. And in terms of the fizz, just being some popping candy and not even that much either. I don't know, it's just kind of blah. I couldn't recommend this unless I knew that you were an absolute slut for cherry sweets. This is the, that's the only way I could really recommend this to you if you wanted that taste vaguely, because other than that, it's not really delivering and it's not really very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one the benefit of the doubt at a three out of five. <laughs> Well, folks, it's fair to say our expectations set at the start of this video were just about right. <laughs> Some of the inventor bars in the past have been great. I remember there was kind of a coffee one that was really enjoyable, but these, even though I know these were kind of public decided flavors, I feel like the execution could have been better. I still like the idea of giving a public vote to flavors because it does allow people to suggest what they actually want to see from the brand, but there could just be, I think, a bit more put into it and a bit less biscuit. <laughs>
If you guys have tasted any of the three Cadbury Inventor bars, do let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which one was your favorite. Or if you haven't tasted them yet, let me know which one you were keeping your eye out for. But I'm afraid that is all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you for the next one.